in America, people bring about skill sets and talents and other things that some people shout about. You see, our opinions are just that, opinions. We can have an opinion based on education and information, or we can have an opinion based on feelings and emotion. Feelings and emotion-based opinions on other people's lives are rarely very wise. If we're not in a direct relationship with that person, our opinion nobody cares about. You see, if you want someone to care about your opinion, you have to first have permission from the individual to render an opinion. Most people do not qualify people with, are you asking for my advice by sharing with me part of your life story or life struggle? Or are you insinuating that you just need somebody to listen a little while to help you process on your own? I'm happy to do either because we are friends or we are family members in some way. Family of choice members often come our way when family of origin members fall away or fail us in some way. Betrayal is a very much a part of relationships. People innocently quip things and accidentally do things, but sometimes they malignantly and maliciously attack people's lives. And when they do that, they often cross the line of the law more than they should. The real question can be, do they have rights to do this? And the answer is no, not under federal laws and usually not under local laws. You see, the theft of mail is still a federal offense. The infiltration of someone's medical records is an offense. The violations of creating medical records without the patient's consent is an offense. And openly, that is something that the vice president is shouting about, that we have these states, Georgia, Ohio, and others, that are trying to take away human dignified rights to the privacy of our naked bodies and the sanctity of our cellular health, not to mention our capabilities in the world today, meaning that if we are forced to do something a certain way, we end up with a lot more liabilities and responsibilities that have a financial significant impact on our lives. Having a child increases a person's psychological, emotional, spiritual, and financial responsibilities. We have the responsibility if we're going to play around and lay around and not protect ourselves from a unwanted child, we then have the responsibility of professionally and intellectually and educationally rearing that child to a productive adulthood. What I see in many communities that are facing poverty and mainly poverty of mind is a lack of regard for all life and all kinds. 